How do you make a simple and happy podcast, short and engaging enough for parents and carers to watch and take in all the important messages that you as a head teacher want them to hear? Well, I start by telling them that we have an outstanding school. Thames View Infants is a vibrant and exciting place to learn right now. But being outstanding doesn't mean that we're perfect. We really do all try our best. So if something has gone wrong, talk to us. Don't worry, and certainly don't get cross about it. Talk to us, and together, we'll try and fix the problem. Attainment here is in the top 1-3% to of all schools nationally, but doing more and more of the same homework isn't the answer. Yes, do your reading, spelling and maths, but after that, do your family together homework. As Claire says, it will help you grow our children into very clever, but resilient, rounded, creative British citizens, armed with meaningful life experiences and social skills. And then, tweet me how you get on. A summer fair is in July, and Emma needs some help organising it. Could you run a stall? Do you know a good business contact? Can you help at all? If so, get in touch. In May, all our Year 2 children will be sitting their SATs, and our Year 1s will be doing their phonics screening tests in June. Please, don't leave mid-year. It can disrupt children's learning. We also don't get to find out you're leaving until it's too late these days. We don't want anyone to leave, but if your circumstances have changed, talk to us and let's see what we can do together. And talking of talking, if your child is in year two and you're thinking about the juniors, then pick up the phone and make an appointment with Rachel Montessed, the head teacher. Meet her and have a look around and talk to her. Rachel understands their high attainment and children will move up automatically with their friends. Go and find out for yourself. Surely that makes more sense. Unless they are poorly, and I wish them better if they are, our children come to school every day. And that includes nursery too. If there's a problem, talk to us. And if there's not, come in. Every lesson matters. Matters. Pupil numbers are falling locally. There's been a fall in the birth rate. And this means we're not full, and we won't be next year. Schools lose money when classes are under numbers. Here, money equals staff and staff equals better provision. We're running an advert campaign at Barton Station, but we need your help. Surely someone knows someone that lives reasonably nearby and is about a school place. And if that's you, tell them to get in touch now. Spread the word. This outstanding school has vacancies. Plans for Ford's View Primary are going well, so watch this space on that one. And let me tell you that children are very well looked after, very safe and know what to do when things go wrong. They are happy at school and are taught incredibly well. And you know that too because 97% of parents in our recent survey either agreed or strongly agreed that we're doing a fantastic job. So thank you for that. But that's enough of me. Do watch our other podcasts. But let's give the final word to our happy children telling you what they like about being a pupil here. See you soon. What do you enjoy the most about school? That you get to learn more stuff. My favourite lesson is writing. I like reading and spelling. Handwriting. Why handwriting? Because I get to write better. Enjoying maths pool. I like dancing. Handwriting. And printing pool. In art? Yeah. Science. I like all the lessons. I like all of I think I like quite a lot of lessons. Well then that's fine. What are your targets at the moment? Mm. Read my sentence back to myself. LY words. Yeah. Um similes. Connectives. Uh-huh. Anything else? Capital letters. To write small. Is that your target? Yeah, because I write so big. And connected the Noah words. Really? In your writing? What do you think of dinners? They're nice. My favourite dinner is pizza, spaghetti, jagged potatoes, and the meatballs, pasta, just salad. Some food are quite healthy and some um, some are not quite help not quite healthy. What happens at playtime? I play nice games. Sometimes we play Sleeping Lion, playing hide and seek. Playtime is quite nice. Is it? Yes. I don't play with toys. No. But I play with my friends. And what games do you play? Hide and seek. Oh. People play nicely at lunchtime. And if you haven't got a friend, where do you go at playtime? To the friendship store. And what happens there? 
some someone um sees you then they pick and pick you up. They even like saying would you like to come and play with me and I do. And if something does go wrong, what do you do? We try and sort it out. Try and sort it out. And how do you sort it out? What do you say? Do you realise I don't like that? We say, do you realise this game is too rough? And all they don't listen, you tell a teacher. So when someone says to you, do you realise I don't like that, what do you have to do? Stop it. And say... Sorry. Give them a cuddle. We give them a hug. Cool. Or a bump? Just do a bump. There you go, that's great. Do you like golden time? Yeah. Why? Because you can dance to music. When you have golden time, you get to have music and you get to play with toys and you colour. And that's very important, isn't it? And play, and some dough. It's just, it's exciting. The one with the sharks. Oh, you like the shark? How does that go? Come do it for me. How's it go? Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do. Okay, okay, oh, oh.